Today I'll be reviewing the free effects bundle by Melda Production. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. Now a couple of weeks ago I made a video about some of my favourite free effects plugins that you can get for your DAW. I'll put a link up here somewhere to that video. Now some of you suggested that I should have included the effects bundle by Melder Production. So this video is all about correcting that and talking about that massive and really impressive bundle. But before we get into that, if this is your first time here and you like this kind of content all about music production, DAW plugins, reviews, that kind of thing, then please do subscribe and ring the bell on YouTube so that you can get to see my future videos. Now let's get stuck into that effects bundle. So the Melda Productions free effects bundle is actually made up of 34 individual plugins. They range from utility type plugins such as a notepad and a tuner, through to analysis programs such as a loudness analyzer or an oscilloscope, all the way through to plugins which actually change the sound, such as an auto pitch or even a flanger. Now, 34 plugins is way too much for me to cover in this video, so I've decided to focus on my top five plugins from this bundle. So the criteria was that they had to be plugins which actually affect the sound, so they're effects plugins, and they had to be kind of useful on a frequent basis basis. So here is my top five plugins from the Melda Production Free Effects Bundle. Five. So coming in at number five is the M Convolution Easy Reverb. Now you've probably got a reverb in your DAW already, but you might not have a convolution reverb. What is a convolution reverb? Well, convolution reverbs essentially record and process a reverb and behavior which is unique to a real acoustic space. Then you can apply that to your actual recording. Now if that still doesn't make sense to you, don't worry. You can just have a listen to how it sounds. It's got really simple controls. You basically select from a whole bunch of presets, you can mix the dry and wet signal, you can widen it a little or apply a high or a low pass filter to it. So it's really simple to use. But let's have a listen. I've put it on a snare drum in this drum groove. I'll try out a few and adjust the controls and you can see what you think. Four. Next at number four, we have M Compressor. Now you probably already have a compressor plugin in your DAW, but this one could have some features that you don't already have. But let's start off with the basics. Of course, it's got controls for gain, attack, release, threshold, and ratio. You can control them all up here in the top part of the UI, or you can actually control some of them down in this graph display down here. We'll take a look at that in a moment. I've applied it to a kick drum in my groove, and I'm gonna start off by adjusting the threshold. Okay, now I've got the threshold set. I'm gonna play around a little bit with the ratio and the attack. Okay, so now you can see that I have it basically set up and of course I can change the things like the knee. I've got a hard knee, linear or a soft knee. Now this is the part that I found really interesting. It has this custom shape feature here. So if we click on custom shape, you'll see that I can affect what happens after the signal goes over the threshold in a really different way. By changing this line, which would be just like changing a ratio normally, and adjusting this control in the middle for the curve. So you could make really, really fine controls over what happens after the signal crosses over the threshold rather than just the usual ratio control. A really great plugin, and I think it's worth you playing around with, and you may just find it better than your built-in DAW compressor. Three. 
So at number three, I have M Spectral Pan. Now, normally we're used to having pan controls in our DAW and we can send signals to the left or the right by particular percentages. This does that, but you can also do it based upon frequency within that signal. Now, how would that be useful? Well, I've got it applied to a piano here and I've got also a female vocal. Now, when you have a situation like this with a piano or perhaps a guitar and a vocal, you can get a lot of cancellation in those middle frequencies. So this plugin can really help to create some separation. But first of all, let's have a quick listen to the track without the effect switched on at all. You've taken my heart and you give it up. I'm trying to figure out how to fill your cup. That's what we do. Now it's not too bad, but I could do with a little bit more separation. So I'm gonna play around with this and send a lot of the frequencies between two and 500 Hertz over to the right hand side. And I'm just gonna do that by drawing on the graph down here. Quite simple to use. Around about there should create some difference. Now let's have another listen. You've taken my heart and you give it up. Trying to figure out how to fill your cup That's what we do Let's you're bypass You're always telling me that you're here to stay I wake up in the morning and you've gone away That's what we do so as you can hear, the piano is still there and it's mainly in the middle with the vocal, but there's just some parts of it which have been sent off to the side a bit, creating some separation. It's really subtle, but really useful. Two. So in at number two is the M Stereo Expander. There's not an awful lot to explain about this one. It has very few controls, but it's really useful on your master bus for making your mix sound nice and wide. I'm going to play a track for you and I'm going to switch between the effect being on and bypass and see what you think about the difference it makes. Now, before I go on to my final and number one pick for this top five, I would like to make some honorable mentions. The first of those is auto pitch. Now, I personally like to make my pitch corrections using something like Melodyne where I can go in and do it manually. But if you want something that's automatic, then I suggest for free, you give this one a try. It's well worth it. The second one I'd like to mention is the saturator. If you just want to add some saturation to an individual track or to your master bus, this is really effective and can be used really subtly. The next one I'd like to mention is a flanger, a great fun plugin, which I played around with for ages but probably not something you're gonna use a lot. And the same for this one, which is the tremolo. This is a really useful effect, especially on guitars, of course, but it's not something you're gonna use all the time. Nonetheless, it is a really great plugin. One. So in at number one, I've chosen M Equalizer. Now, equalizers are very frequently used plugins indeed, and this is a very good one. It's a six band EQ, and as you'd expect, you just go in and start dragging the bands around like this to make adjustments. If you want to adjust the cue, then you would just drag the bars in and out like this. If you want to activate a new band, you just double click on it and then you can start dragging it around. Now, if you right click on a band, it gives you lots of options. The first of these is the type of node it is. So we could, for example, turn band four here into a high shelf and you'll see that happen up there. So those are your main functions. Over here you can see you can set the frequency, the cue and the gain. I really like the fact that you can just click 
on this here and enter a value manually. So I could reset it by clicking on zero and clicking OK. The other interesting feature that we have is the harmonics. So if we take this and we push it up there, we can actually add harmonics down here. I'll start to push the percentages up here. You'll start to see them appearing and I can change exactly where they appear and how many of them there will be for a maximum there and I'll just bring them down a little bit there. So that's a really good way to add to or subtract from the sound. Now, now that I've done that, I wanna show you one of the other interesting features, which is this simple saturation control up here. I'm gonna play the track and I'm gonna let you have a listen as I add more saturation. So that is the Equalizer plugin. I think it deserves the number one spot. You may disagree with me. Let me know in the comments if you do. Now, if there's a VST effect or a VST effects bundle that you think I should be telling people about, then let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to make a video about it. If you like this video, then hit the like button. If you didn't like this video, then hit the dislike button twice. If you like this kind of content, then please do subscribe and ring the bell on YouTube so that you get notified about my future videos. Now, when you've finished watching this video, you may like to watch this video just here, or maybe this one just here. If you don't like those two, then I suggest hitting any thumbnail with a yellow background. And I'll see you next time.